MSNBC host Joy Reid is slamming Florida Governor Ron DeSantis for his war on woke ideology. Watch. This whole war against wokeness is really a war against freedom. And you know what? Some conservatives and libertarians know it, too. What's been a problem for Florida is now a problem for America. DeSantis is determined to stamp out intellectual freedom, and it's causing other red states to scrutinize AP black studies, replacing a multitude of ideas with the one idea he holds dear, the centrality of white Christian thought. Terry Schilling is the president of the American Principles Project, and he joins us now. Uh, Terry, do, do you think this is a war on, on freedom? You know, it's it's a equally a war on common sense and um, and parental rights, right? That's what wokeism is. It is an attack on on our kids. It's an indoctrination factory that they're putting that they're turning our schools into. Thirty five percent of our kids are proficient in reading in third grade. That means almost two out of every three kids are basically illiterate, and it's because we're putting in all of this woke garbage. What wokeism is is it's an attempt to teach our kids to hate their country, hate their parents, and to teach them that men can have babies. It's absolutely and Math insane. is racist, and that math is racist. It's yeah. totally nuts. But it seemed to me that Joy Reid was was actually worried about a DeSantis presidency. <laughs> yes. it, right? No, that's exactly right. Everyone in the room knows that Ron DeSantis has been a huge warrior against all things woke. Mm -hmm. He has declared war yeah. on wokeism because he knows it's anti-American, it's anti-family, it's anti-religion, yep. it's anti-everything that this nation was built on. And so is your governor in Virginia, Yunkin, and then you have the governor of Arkansas, Sarah Huckabee Sanders. She wants her education reform to be a blueprint uh, for the entire country, and that bill includes raising teachers' pay so they get paid more, they can also get a bonus, a ban on political indoctrination, and unlimited school choice. Uh, Terry, should all states adopt they Governor Sanders' plan? I, I'm encouraging every governor in the country to compete with Sarah Sanders. We want to get the best education system in this country. Like I said previously, 35% of our third graders can read at their own level. This is a major problem. The money is going to all the people that it shouldn't be. The average cost, I'm from Fairfax County, they spend $19,000 per pupil per year. My kids should know Greek and Latin for mm -hmm. that, and they don't even know how to read for that. But them. that's for the public school. That's, that's for, for the, the public, public school. So right. you're saying give the 19000 to the student to go wherever their parents think they should, would do School best. School choice. Exactly. School choice. Let the parents decide and that we're going to be a lot better off. Terry Schilling, thank you.